Adventures of the Gummy Bears, Disney's first cartoon TV series, is a timeless classic. You know Disney will never disappoint when it comes to unique cartoon shows. In the 80s, Disney brought a new concept to our screens with a cartoon series that would completely change the narrative for the next generation. This new series, known as Adventures of the Gummy Bears, was teased for months, and when it was finally released on a Saturday morning, no one could stop talking about it. He's hurt! We should do something! We've already done too much! After all, it was the first time people saw Candies as the main characters in a show. Well, the story of the inspiration behind the birth of this series is also pretty fascinating. So without further delay, let us dive right into the video and explore everything from the story to the characters of the adventures of the Gummy Bears. Before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Da, 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 da. Give that back to me, you pips, quick! No, no, give it! What was the show all about? Adventures of the Gummy Bears was the first animated production of Walt Disney Television. It first premiered on NBC in September 1985 and ran for four seasons. Later, after the end of the fourth season, the series was taken under the wing of ABC for the fifth season, which ran from 1989 to 1990. And at last, the sixth and final season was syndicated as part of the Disney Afternoon Television syndication package. The series was created by Disney CEO Michael Eisner, Art Vitello, and television and film writer Jim Megan. Michael Eisner came up with the idea for the show out of the most mundane thing. So one day he noticed his son's obsession with eating gummy bear candies. And like the brain of a genius, a unique and innovative idea for a cartoon series with gummy bears popped right into his head. As a result, 80s kids soon became hooked to their television screens on Saturday mornings to watch this series that was out of this world. It is set in a world where your gummy bear candies are anthropomorphic bears and your walking, talking friends. The series has a total of 65 episodes, but out of that, three episodes are divided into two segments with a runtime of 11 minutes each. So that brings the overall total to 95 episodes. The evergreen charm of the series is in its opening theme song known as the Gummy Bears theme, which was written by Michael and Patty Silvershire. It was performed by Joseph Stanley Williams, who is the lead vocalist of the rock band Toto. Even the hands of a boy. Wow, Gummy Bears! Wait, I won't hurt you! Please! Exploring the first few episodes and the overall story arc. The first episode of the series is titled A New Beginning, and it was written by Douglas Hutchinson. The story begins with Duke Sigmund Igthorn building weapons in order to overthrow King Gregor of Dunwin Kingdom. He plans to take control of the Dunwin Castle by destroying it with the help of his army of ogres. At the same time, in the woods ahead of the castle, we meet two squires named Unwin and Cavan. They are on their horses carrying lunch for a bunch of yokel woodcutters. Unwin is a bit older than Cavan and tends to tease him often. On this particular occasion, he notices a chain that Cavan is wearing around his neck. He snatches it from him and realizes that it is a gummy bear medallion. Unwin considers it a child's toy and ridicules Cavan for carrying it around, even though Cavan is just an 11-year-old boy. But Kevin believes that there was a time when the gummy bears actually used to exist. However, Unwin sees him as a fool for believing in them because everyone knows that the gummy bears are just fairy tales. Soon the boys meet the yokel woodcutters who are hard at work and their supervisor, Sir Tuxford, is yawning away. In the court of King Gregor, he is the highest ranking knight and Cavan is on his page. Cavan thinks that Sir Tuxford should be keeping an eye out for the ogres, but the knight is too busy resting. As soon as he utters these words, some giant ogres attack them. While Cavan tries to fight them off, Sir Tuxford runs away on his horse like a coward. As it turns out, these ogres attacked on orders given by Duke Sigmund Igthorn. The woodcutters were getting too close to the construction of his weapon, so he needed to scare them away. On the other hand, Cavan, while running away from the few ogres, ends up falling down the hill. At the Dunwin Castle, we finally meet King Gregor and his daughter Princess Kala. Sir Tuxford informs them that they have to look for Cavan because he has been taken away by the ogres in the woods. Now, back in the forest, we are finally introduced to the stars of the show, the Gummy Bears. Cavan is lying unconscious and six tiny looking gummy bears surround him. One of them, who is known as Cubby Gummy, sees a human up close for the first time. When he asks the oldest gummy bear, Zummy Gummy, 
If humans actually eat gummy bears or not, he is told that this is just a story. They are all wondering what to do with the human. Sunny Gummy, the young girl, suggests that they should help the boy. But Gruffy Gummy says that humans are nothing but trouble, so they should leave him as he is. Just then, Cubby Gummy, the youngest among them, notices that gummy medallion around Kevin's neck. Zummy Gummy confirms that it is one of the great gummy medallions. But since it belongs to their world, the real question is how the boy got his hands on it. As their discussion continues, Kevin wakes up in shock, but is excited to see real-life gummy bears. But they get scared and run away from him. Kevin chases after Cubby Gummy, trying to reassure them that he means no harm. Cubby Gummy drinks something out of a tiny bottle and starts bouncing around. Just then, an ogre attacks all of them, and together the gummy bears run inside the openings in three different tree trunks. Kevin also ends up falling inside. They reach inside a house where one more gummy bear is present, known as Grammy Gummy. But everyone hides as soon as they realize that the young boy is also among them. Gruffy Gummy then quickly ties Kevin up with a rope. Now, at Duke Igthorn's lair, he is getting his garments prepared based on what a king would wear. He has been building a catapult and is finally ready for a test. When he launches a huge rock with the catapult, it fails since it falls on top of them. Clearly, he is still not ready to attack the Dunwin Castle. Back at the house of the gummy bears, they start questioning Kevin about the gummy medallion. It turns out that when his grandfather was a boy, he found it in a ruined city way up in the western mountains and later gave it to Kevin. When he asks them for something to drink, Tummy Gummy gets something in a glass, and after Kevin drinks it, a very strange thing suddenly happens. Kevin feels oddly strong and is able to break free from the ropes. This gives him the idea that he has what it takes to become the greatest knight ever and also stand out in front of Princess Kala. He is somehow able to lift tables and doors with just one hand. But soon his strength vanishes and the door falls on him. The gummy bears now think that they can trust Kevin. Sunny Gummy tells him that what he drank was gummy berry juice. The gummy bears have been making it for centuries and after drinking it, they are able to bounce, just like Cubby Gummy did when Kevin was running after him in the woods. But it has a different effect on humans. It gives them super strength. Zummy Gummy then takes Kevin to the Great Book of Gummy. It has been locked for centuries and no one knows what is written inside of it. Zummy Gummy makes Kevin put his hand on the book and ask him to promise that he will never tell anyone about their existence, home or gummy berry juice. When Kevin gives him his word, the book lights up, which signifies that he is not lying. Sunny and Cubby Gummy then take Kevin to the quick tunnels. The ancient gummies built them so that they could go anywhere in the forest. It is like one of the fastest roller coaster rides, but inside the trees and between the woods. When they pause and get out of their cart, they see Duke Igthorn with his catapult. He has now perfected it and the weapon is ready to attack the Dunwin Castle. Kevin holds a meeting with all six gummy bears and asks them to help King Gregor. He is disappointed when Zummy Gummy tells him that they can't help because they do not have any magic or weapons. In fact, the secrets of the ancient gummies are lost as well. Despite that, Kevin is ready to try his best and is enraged to see that the gummy bears will just sit idly and let people get hurt. So he throws his gummy medallion on the ground and storms off. Gruffy Gummy tells everyone they have nothing to feel ashamed of because he believes it has been the gummy tradition to stay out of the fights between humans. Now suddenly, the gummy medallion that now hangs on Zummy Gummy's neck begins to glow and point in a direction. It takes them to the Great Book of Gummy, where the medallion fits inside the lock and the book opens. The words inside it read, I, the last of the great gummies, lot this book containing all our lore and magic. You who read these pages have unlocked your past. Now find your future. Help the good fight the wicked. Strive to make gummies great once more. When Zummy Gummy finishes reading it, the words vanish away from the book just as mysteriously as they had appeared. With a rush of courage, the gummies agree to help Kevin one by one. Meanwhile, Kevin is at Duke Igthorn's lair and is trying to cut off the wheels of the catapult with a saw. An ogre soon catches him and ties him to a piece of wood. Luckily, the gummy bears arrive soon and decide to help Kevin by giving him the gummy berry juice. Zummy Gummy casts a newly found invisibility spell on Gruffy Gummy so that he can walk past the ogres without getting caught. However, 
Just when he was in the middle of a lot of ogres, the spell starts to fade away and he becomes visible again. He still manages to give Kevin the gummy berry juice, and by channeling all the extra strength in his body, Kevin throws two of the ogres far away in the sky, now at the Dunwin Castle. Sir Tuxford is getting ready to fight along with some other knights of the kingdom, but they get stuck inside the castle because Igthorn threw a tar ball at the doors and now the soldiers are unable to lower the drawbridge. Igthorn starts throwing giant rocks toward the castle, and the gummy bears prepare themselves for battle by drinking the magical gummy berry juice. They attack the army of ogres while Kevin tries to think of a way to stop the catapult. In the middle of this, Duke Igthorn spots him holding the bottle of gummy berry juice and throws the smallest ogre known as Toady at him to steal it. Soon the bottle is in the hands of Igthorn, but he is unaware that his new and increased strength will wear off in a minute. In the meantime, Gavin and the gummy bears manage to set the catapult loose. Igthorn holds a giant rock with his bare hands, ready to throw it at the castle, but in a second his powers fade and he gets crushed under the rock. When the catapult launches, even Igthorn gets thrown away with the rock. Now, the catapult is rolling down a hill and is about to hit the castle while Kevin is still stuck on it. It breaks into a million pieces after the crash, and luckily Kevin emerges alive. Hiding in the woods, the gummy bears cheer for the young page, and the Dunwin castle is safe for the time being. Later, at the house of the gummy bears, Zummy Gummy informs the others that the Great Book of Gummy will never be finished, and it is their duty to record every important deed done by a gummy. The episode comes to an end as he writes, Today we helped a young boy save his kingdom. In the next episode, titled The Sinister Sculptor, the gummy bears are about to face a new threat. It begins with Grammy and Griffin Gummy fighting over a piece of the puzzle. A man who calls himself the Great Davini is trying to catch a rodent out in the woods. After he secures it in his grip, he throws some kind of magic powder on it and the rodent becomes still like a statue. Even the hair on its face does not move. The Great Davini had a cart full of such animals that he transformed into statues. Now he has also laid out cage traps in the forest and some new animals have finally been caught. Well, as it turns out, these are some of the gummy bears. Tummy, Zummy, Sunny, and Cubby Gummy were picking berries in the forest. That is how they got trapped inside the cages. The Great Davini realizes that these are the gummy bears from the fairy tale legend. He tells them that he is such a great artist that he can immortalize them in stone. Sunny Gummy is excited at the thought without realizing what is about to happen. The Great Davini then sprays his magical powder from a pouch and the four gummy bears have now turned into statues. On the other hand, both Gruffy and Grammy Gummy are hiding in the bushes on opposite sides, unaware of the other's presence at the scene. Both of them try their own ways to do something to save their friends, but end up trapping each other instead of the Great Davini. Now, the con artist has reached the kingdom of Dunwin to showcase and sell his captured animals as statues that he sculpted. He shows Sir Tuxford a bird, but he asks the sculptor for one whose wings are spread. So, the great Davini takes that bird inside his vehicle, gets the stone tablet out of his bag, and utters some words that sound like a spell. In an instant, the bird comes back to life, and as soon as it spreads its wings, he sprays his magic powder and converts the bird into a statue once again. Perhaps with these powers, he should be invited to attend Hogwarts. Anyway, Kevin, Princess Kala, and King Gregor soon arrive before the sculptor. He shows them the gummy bears and Princess Kala insists on buying them. Grammy and Gruffy then tell Kevin about what has happened and that reciting those words from the stone tablet will return the statues to normal. So, they devise a plan to save their friends. At night, Grammy and Gruffy climb through the vines to reach the sculptor's room in order to retrieve the tablet. Meanwhile, Kevin tries to create diversion by bringing some late night snacks to the sculptor's room. But soon, Grammy and Gruffy get caught when they again start fighting over who should be holding the tablet. As a result, it breaks but they manage to escape with all the broken pieces. The four gummy bears are in Princess Kala's room, so they quickly sneak in, adjust the tablet together, and Grammy Gummy recites the spell. Like magic, Zummy, Tummy, Sunny, and Cubby are alive again. However, the sculptor storms into the room just as the gummy bears escape. Princess Kala wakes up, and the great Davini turns her into a statue. Clearly, Kevin's troubles are not over yet. The gummy bears successfully set all the statues free and scare away the sculptor. They also destroy his magic power so that he can never make any more statues. Now, 
Just when Grammy Gummy is about to destroy the stone tablet, Kevin catches it because he needs it to return Princess Kala to normal. Griffy and Grammy drink the gummy berry juice and bounce Kevin up through the princess's window. This seems like a classic fairy tale movie where the hero arrives through the window to save the damsel in distress. The episode comes to an end with the two sharing a moment as Princess Kala tells Kevin she wishes the gummy bears were real, and Kevin tells her that they are real, but in her imagination. Look out! Look out! <laughs> Exploring some of the memorable characters from the show. The actual place where all the gummies live is revealed to us much later in the series. It is a hollow tree known as Gummy Glen. The place has a lot of tunnels and rooms which are inhabited by the last remaining gummy bears. Now let us take a look at some of the most important characters in the adventures of the gummy bears. Zummy Gummy. The character of Zummy Gummy is voiced by Paul Winchell in seasons 1 through 5 and Jim Cummings in season 6. He is the oldest gummy bear and is known as the keeper of gummy wisdom. He looks after the library and ensures that the history of the gummy bears is recorded and stored properly. He is also the keeper of the gummy medallion that he got from Kevin and handles the great book of gummy. Soon, he becomes the magician of their team and even though he often tends to forget his spells, he constantly tries his best to improve them. He is able to produce fire from a new spell he discovered. However, the one thing he is afraid of is height. Wait, <gasps> Stay Grammy Gummy. The character of Grammy Gummy is voiced by June Foray. She is also one of the old gummy bears. But unlike Zummy, Grammy Gummy is more responsible and looks after their entire house. She cooks, cleans, and also makes the gummy berry juice all by herself. She has a very caring nature and was the first to show Kevin kindness when he was nothing but a stranger to the gummy bears. She often fights and argues with Gruffy Gummy, and it is clear that the two do not get along well. In fact, they are so competitive that they will end up quarreling with each other even when there is an enemy to defeat. Hmm. I wonder where the others are. Gruffy Gummy. The character of Gruffy Gummy is voiced by Bill Scott in season one and Curry Burton in seasons two through six. When it comes to fixing things around the house, Gruffy is your man. He is excellent at building traps for the enemies and always ensures the safety of other gummy bears before his own. He likes being the one in charge of things. Perhaps that is why he has so many fights with Grammy Gummy. They both want to do things their own way, which is why they often end up messing up the task. He strategizes all of their battles and almost always comes up with the best plans. However, Gruffy is also stubborn most of the time as he prefers to do things the way they used to be done in the past. Tummy, what is that? <laughs> gummy berry juice. Tummy gummy. The character of Tummy Gummy is voiced by Lorenzo Music. Of all the gummy bears, Tummy appreciates food as nobody else does. Most of the time, that is all he thinks about. He usually does not think before doing something and ends up creating a mess when all he wants to do is help. Despite that, he is a useful character because of his easygoing nature. He listens to everyone and lends a helping hand wherever possible. He often accompanies Zummy Gummy with his tasks and pays attention to his elaborate explanations even though everything goes above his head. Eventually, we also discover his hidden talents such as being a sailor, craftsman, and gardener. Yeah! Wait, wait! She's a friend! Sunny Gummy. The character of Sunny Gummy is voiced by Katie Lee. From the beginning, it is evident that Sunny is quite adventurous and likes to explore things. When they met Kevin for the first time, she could only think about getting to know the human world, their culture and fashion. Her nature is full of curiosity and she wishes to become a princess someday, just like the sweet Princess Kala. She often roams around with Cubby Gummy and the two certainly share a close bond. Cubby Gummy. The character of Cubby Gummy is voiced by Noelle North. He is the youngest gummy bear in the squad. Cubby is always thrilled whenever they have to defeat a new enemy because it means that he gets to practice his fighting skills. He has only one dream and that is to become the greatest gummy knight in the entire gummy history. Since Cubby is the youngest, he is always pampered by Grammy Gummy. Even though he gets distracted from things very quickly, he never disobeys his elders. Cubby is also very fond of Cavan, his favorite human and their pair is sure to remind you of Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. <laughs> Kevin. The character of Kevin has multiple voice actors throughout the series. In season one, he is voiced by Christian Jacobs. Next, Brent Johnson provides the voice for season two, David Faustino in season three, Jason Marsden in seasons four and five, 
and Robert Jackson Williams in Season 6. Kevin is Sir Tuxford Page and Squire. He is also pursuing his dream of becoming a knight. At the young age of 11, Kevin has probably gone on more adventures than any of us because he is friends with the gummy bears. He shares a good relationship with all of them and is trusted by them. He promised them he would never tell anyone about their existence. So he even hides it from Princess Kala, whom he has a crush on. <laughs> Princess Kala. The character of Princess Kala is voiced by Noelle North, who also voices Cubby Gummy. As the daughter of the ruler of the kingdom, she usually always gets what she wishes for. Despite that, she does not act like a spoiled child. In fact, she treats everyone with immense kindness. She does not always like to follow the rules that come with being a princess because she is free-spirited and wants to do everything she desires without any restrictions. Eventually, she too learns about the gummy bears and becomes friends with them. She has also trained herself to use weapons so that she does not have to look for someone else for protection. Mine! Dunwin Castle is mine! How did I get Duke it? Sigmund Ichthorn. The character of Duke Sigmund Ichthorn is voiced by Michael Rye. He is the main villain of the series and there was a time when he used to be one of the greatest knights of Dunwin. Now he constantly comes up with new plans to destroy the kingdom of Dunwin. This hatred began after he was banished from the castle for conspiring against King Gregor. So when he found a place in the woods where the ogres lived, known as Castle Drekmor, Ichthorn became their ruler. He does not pay the ogres for the work he makes them do and he does not even feel bad about it. He is evil to his very core and wants nothing more than to take control of the Dunwin Castle. When he finds out about the gummy bears and the effects of their gummy berry juice on humans, he tries to kidnap them in order to attain more power. However, Kevin and his gummy bear friends stop his attempts every single time. Marvelous Verdict, the show was an example of Disney's finest hour. What the 80s cartoons lacked in spectacular animation, they more than made up for in plot and characters. And The Adventures of the Gummy Bears is no exception. This is a cartoon show that includes everything from comedy and fun to some lessons for kids. It is an 80s favorite that the fans are not able to get enough of even now. From the very first episode, it grabs your attention and takes you to a different world from which you will not want to come back. This is not just a story about some gummy bear candies. In fact, it creates an entire fictional world based on their culture and powers and even gives us a deep history of their existence and where they originated from. The series brings a whole new experience to our screens and gives us something to remember about the good old Saturday mornings. The magic of the series is not just in its adventures and brave characters, but also in the opening theme song. It hooked the audience too quickly, which has never happened with the show before. Watching the adventures of the gummy bears is undoubtedly a lifetime experience. Try pushing it forward. Okay. Is there a reboot possibility? The idea of a reboot of the adventures of the gummy bears was first introduced to us when another 80s classic cartoon show, DuckTales, got a reboot back in 2017. The show was initially released two years after the adventures of the gummy bears and received immense love from the same audience. By that time, the gummy bears had created a market for shows that included anthropomorphic characters. And well, as the old saying goes, the more the merrier. So in DuckTales reboot, there is an entire episode that is dedicated to the adventures of the gummy bears and hints at the possibility of a reboot. This episode contains a lot of things from the gummy bear world that we saw in the original 1985 show, like pages from the great book of gummy, as well as the gummy berry juice. Well, even though there is no solid proof about the reboot, we can at least hope for Disney to bring the nostalgia of this incredible cartoon show back to our screens. Well guys, that is all for today. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Have a fantastic day ahead. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. <laughs>